Corruption, mismanagement and poor governance were reported against the medical institution. Recently, the executive summary of the task team's findings were released. And uh, to talk more on the findings, we are joined in our uh, parliamentary studios, if I'm not mistaken, by the Minister of Health, Dr. Aaron Motswaledi. Um, Minister, thank you very much for being with us and welcome to Morning Live. Thank you. Uh, morning, Elian, and morning to the viewers out there. Thanks, Minister. Now, tell us more about the allegations of maladministration and poor governance against the Health Professions Council of South Africa. How did you learn about them? Well, uh, for, for quite some time, there have been anecdotes or complaints here and there uh, from health professionals about the delays and the maladministration and the wrong things that were happening there. But eventually, I, I had whistleblowers writing me letters some of whom eventually resigned and disappeared. And uh, so uh, the president, the then president of the Health Professors Council, uh, Professor Mkhokong, called the staff to try and conduct an internal inquiry. And he got 30 submissions from staff members, which were very damning. And uh, the, the decision was then uh, taken that perhaps this needs an outside uh, 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 investigation by the minister himself, not an internal one. Yeah. And that's how I went on to appoint that team. All right, let's talk about the team. Um, how were they chosen? Uh, who, who are they, actually? What does it consist of? Well, I chose them, Leanne, mm. uh, according to uh, the allegations that I've made. The, the chairperson of the team is Professor Bongani Mayosi. He is uh, the head of the, med uh, uh, of the Department of Medicine at the University of Cape Town and Khroteskir Hospital, but is also the chairperson of the National Health Research uh, Council. The other person who came in to help is Dr. Masaru Mule. He is not a medical doctor. He's, a, he has, he's an IT expert. The doctorate is in IT because some of the uh, allegations were about IT systems, communication registration systems, etc. The second one is Dr. Nkagi Matlala, who is a surgeon. He is working in the private sector. He was in the executive of the Health Association of South Africa, HASA, which is an association of all the private hospitals in the country, but is also in the executive of Medi uh, Clinic. The other was Dr. Ralph Mugijima, who is well known. He was the chairperson of the Public Service Commission. He was the first head of the Department of Health in Gauteng in 1994. And the last one is Dr. Mtugushe, who is an attorney and a medical doctor at the same time, but mm. is now working as an attorney. Okay. And I, that's, uh, oh, the last, one, the last one was Dr. Adams, who is a GP, a general practitioner. Mm. So you could see I was trying to cover all the corners. Yeah, indeed, and, and hand-picked by yourself, I imagine, for such, a, for such a huge issue. And I mean, you know, we can't ignore the fact that the HPCSA has been in the news for many, many years for numerous controversies. They face complaints of alleged um, maladministration when it comes to the registration of foreign qualified doctors and specialists as well. Was this one of the aspects that was to be or is going to be addressed during these investigations as well? Oh, yes, it was. It was one of the... Aspects. Remember, there are, there are five main statutory functions of the Health Professions Council of South Africa. The first main statutory function is the registration of health pro professionals. That means the registration of doctors, dentists, physiotherapists, occupational therapists, audiologists, speech therapists, uh, psychologists, etc., etc. That means all the health professionals except nurses and pharmacists who have got their own separate councils, but all the others are under the Health Professions Council of South Africa, and the main statutory function is to register them. The second function is conduct of examination and recognition of foreign qualified professionals, mm. as you are saying. And uh, yes, and the third one is conduct management. That means if a health professional is accused for acting unprofessionally, they have to take that person to DC and conduct uh, uh, that hearing after which the person might be struck off the roll, they might take their license to, 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 to practice forever, or they might suspend them, or they might levy any other uh, 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 punishment. The, the fourth uh, function that they have to perform 
is approval of programs in medical schools. That means the training institutions, if they come up with any new programs, which they think must be registratable with the council, the council must approve that uh, program first. And uh, lastly, is for professional development. So in all the five functions, there were findings that uh, they are not being done very well. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and just uh, before we talk about TB, because we've got to talk about this as well, it's a campaign that uh, was launched for parliamentarians last week. Um, the issue of the, the CEO and the COO have, uh, you know, the, the, the task to me has recommended that they are unfit for the job and that they be suspended. How long will they be suspended for? Is this in place now? Well, as, as, as you, you learned last week, Leanne, that is a recommendation from the committee. I gave uh, the report uh, to the council because what I've released is just an executive summary of nine pages. The main report itself is 90 pages. I gave it to the council to, to read, and I gave them a week, and they'll have to come back to me. So I, I don't think it will be fair for me to comment about it. Okay. All right. Um, Minister, let's just quickly touch on the TB campaign that was launched for parliamentarians last week. Um, it encourages National Council of Provinces to pledge their names to the Global TB Caucus of Parliamentarians Barcelona Declaration. Um, what does the actual campaign entail? What's it all about? Well, this campaign is, is about all members of parliament around the world having to take responsibility for TB. Because, Leanne, we, we had thought we have defeated TB, and that's why for the past 50 years, no new diagnostics or treatment came for TB. They are just coming now because we realize we are in trouble. But we believe TB is so widespread around the world and unrecognized that we want politicians to take responsibility and run campaigns to make sure that we bring an end to TB around the world. I've been showing MPs a graph that shows that over the past 200 years, TB killed more people uh, than uh, uh, malaria, HIV AIDS, Ebola, bubonic plaque, all added together. Mm. There were more people who were killed by TB than all those diseases added together. Sure. So you can see how serious is it. But uh, we have realized that many people don't really think a lot about it. I might remind you, Leanne, that uh, in South Africa it is number one killer, yeah. but no person recognizes that. I might remind you again that uh, in 2013, at the high, well, uh, uh, you know, when the Ebola was, was at its worst, I think 20, it was 2014, uh, Professor Shabir Mali, who is the director of the National Institute of Communication, Economical Diseases, was with me right there at, at TV. And he said South Africans must, be, must not be unduly scared of Ebola because they are unlikely to get it. What they must be scared of is TB because they are likely to get it and die from it. I still remember the Chicharati, how they insulted him. They thought he's misleading us. But after he mentioned those words, 12 months later, Leanne, 40,000 people in South Africa died of TB yeah. and none of Ebola. I'm not trying to undermine Ebola. I'm just hiding facts as they are. And around the whole world, TB has killed 1.5 million people in the last year only. Sure. Yeah, Minister, I think you've uh, certainly touched on a very, very important issue. But um, we'll have to leave it there for this morning. Thank you very much for talking to us about, uh, about the issue of TB, but uh, also this task team investigating the Health Professionals Council of South Africa and just finding out from the Minister's perspective uh, the findings of his team and also, more importantly, the way forward after this 90-page uh, summary report was handed over. So we'll see what happens with the, the leadership of this, uh, this particular health Professions Council of South Africa.